Hey, welcome back Design Squad. And in this week's Design Tool Tuesday, I'm gonna share with you a tool which is basically like a checklist for best practices in UX and specifically product design. So more of, you know, how users perceive your UI components and how you should actually design, let's say as a product or UI designer, uh, your mockups, your specific components, specific atoms and molecules if you use design systems and so forth. So we're talking about checklist design. And if you just go simply, it's free, you know, it's available immediately if you just go to checklist.design. And here you're going to find a lot of different bits and it's going to be pages divided into different categories and as well as components. Now, if you would go to pages, let's say, you know, we, there is a set of different pages which we always design. So let's say a pricing page, let's say, or a login page. And this service gives you the key features you should include and the key principles of what do they mean and how you should do that. And interestingly, let's say, maybe this is a bit of a bare example, but as you can see, it tells you exactly what you have to clearly state the length of a trial period before being charged. So it's one of the principles which is always a best practice expected of the user. And then you get additional resources of showing exactly how it could be done, which links to Dribble. Let's say this is an example by uh, GT Grok here. And as you can see, there is a bands and lanes for different type of pricing models, let's say for a service or a product. And so it gives you an examples for Dribble, or you can just explore more and search more on actual UI repository like Dribble. And it also gives you some articles on best practices too of how to do it right, uh, any studies it can quote, you know, everything like a third party content is linked to it. So it's, it gives you an overview and one set of information in one block and you have additional additions as well explaining exactly the recommendations of how you could showcase different bits and why and it also gives you some great examples too, specifically the product so let's say Spotify pricing model as you can see it also shows case something like very unique so let's say it's only premium or free so how you would do if you have two bands and so forth but if we go back i think one of the good examples i spotted before was with a component so let's say you know buttons models uh, text fields navigation search cards and tables it's kind of like a bread and butter of product design so you need to get those right right and if you let's say pick buttons here you're going to see that there are many more expectations from the users you have to match many more recommendations and as you can see there is like styled so let's say consider that you have to do it fill or ghost or outline or just text so it gives you some sort of high level recommendations as well as more specifically that users should always have an idea where they will be going to or what will happen before clicking the button and you know it might sound like there is nothing new but i see too many buttons let's say out where in a web or in the apps which are basically they say nothing more but like okay or something along those lines it has to be context driven you have to tell the users what's going to happen next then they engage with the action instead of what what's going to happen right now and so you always have to be distinctive and as you can see tips like that actually if you consider them before you design different bits really influential in how well your product and design is going to be perceived by the end user and how well your product is going to you know outperform the competition or how well your feedback is going to be when users actually engage and find it non-intuitive or intuitive if you do it right, right? So this is a resource pretty good because it also allows you to, let's say, search on Dribble as you can see the pages were having embedded examples. If you follow through, it just automatically searches for you on Dribble and you can see different examples of how to do buttons across. Now, next, I think one of the best bits is it's a continuous type of thing. I think you always need to explore yourself exactly while designing, but I found it really, you know, intuitive and simple to use. Again, it's, you know, it's a best practices, it's heuristics, it's a basic level of tips for growing designers, for someone who is still maybe even senior, maybe you need just a few tips of why design something instead of the other, or maybe you need to convey rationale to your stakeholder. Well, using a guidance like that can help you out because it provides with a basic checklist to follow when you know making design decisions so check it out i think it's a good resource i would like to see a bit more of an emerging tech type of tips hints uh, and you know rules or guidance for example voice design patterns which are not you know just visual patterns which you cannot express that easily as well as let's say ar vr things which are not really covered yet or not covered in an extent where you can just basically share a link and 
onboard someone or upskill someone in that specific industry or that specific channel. And so I'm looking forward to that if anyone would cover or they're gonna cover, but that's my wish list. As per usual, if you like this video, give a like, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so yet. I'll see you next time.